I entered this photograph for the first time, British Wildlife Photography Awards, um, and waited with bated breath to see what they do, and then went off on holiday. Uh, so it was a very sort of close run thing, and um, very pleased to get back and find that one of the pictures had won an award and was going to be in the show. Tell us a bit about taking the photograph, the mechanics of it. Was the fox aware you were there? Was he bothered by you? That was the fun part, really. <laughs> I'd been down on the river with a just a 50mm lens, to anyone who knows about photography. Fixed lens as a kind of uh, thing to limit me, you know, make you think harder and so on. Take some shots on the river at night. Didn't get anything to write home about, really. And then on the way back, walked along the high road and spotted in the distance, really quite dark, a fox having someone's the remains of someone's takeaway dinner. So it's a nice wide stretch of pavement, so I was able to go around the outside and get on the side that was lit by a shop window. And, uh, and just, in a way, the 15mm lens was good because it made me get close to the fox. Any way to get close to the fox is to sort of creep up and get really low, which is good because it put me on his eye level, his or her eye level. And I think that gives a photo an immediacy or an intimacy. It almost looks as if he's posing for you. Oh, yes, it did. Um, Someone else, a lady came along, as you see in the picture, came along and uh, I didn't pay a lot of attention to her, but I think she was taking a picture with a mobile phone. And he did run away, but he didn't go far. We actually watched him, we were able to watch him. And uh, she left and he just did a big circle and came straight back again. This is the one that you chose to submit for the competition, but you took a sequence. So can we have a look at some of the others so we can work out why you chose the one you did? That's uh, no particular order. Okay, so that's pretty well, similar. That's Why pretty, did you not choose that one? Pretty similar. Why did you not choose this one? Well, the, the winning shot's got a lady in it, which for me gave kind of two aspects. The fox in our society or in his society is like a double. And it's the relationship between was, humans. Yeah, all the awards you have to... Um, Things have to be natural. You can't. You can light and dark. You can do the basic photographic stuff. But you can't start removing things or adding. No things. Photoshop. No fancy filters. Yeah, yeah. Which I don't like doing anyway. I might tell you something a little bit. And the last one. So, I think that's the fun of photography for me. Is, is you're actually capturing reality. You know, you can put it up a bit, but you basically want to. You're inspired by what's in front of you. So. Well, it's a fantastic achievement. Well done. What does it take to be a good photographer, do you think? You know, I, I look at other people's photographs and for me, I think they've got it, whether they're shooting with a, an iPhone or, or whatever. Um, it's something about, for me, it's translating a three-dimensional world into a two-dimensional object. So you're very well known in Chiswick as a photographer. You've always got your camera with you and people know you from the calendar that you do. You have done with Ian Wiley uh, for church charities. Now he's skipped off to Northumberland. Are you going to carry on doing that? I am going to carry on doing them. Uh, I'm planning right now, working with Snappy Snaps, and um, I'm going to try. My goal is to make it a little more quirky. Maybe design the the actual uh, date pages, the dates themselves as well. Fabulous. Thank you. Thank you very much.